Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Resident Evil 2 by PasteyT Gaming. We're going to continue our how to series in getting rank S plus in hardcore mode on Leon. First run through. Let's go ahead and load it up. And if y'all remember from the previous episode, we are now about to fight Birkin. So I'm going to go ahead and queue up our knife. Come on. So we're going to make this sure this one is equipped because we want that to be the one that we stab into him when it breaks. And I'm going to show you all how to do knife strats. It's pretty easy, um, especially if you uh, have done it a few times, which I've done it a few times. So supposedly aiming and unaiming, like just tapping the aim key on stairs will make you go faster. I, I assume it's true. It looks true when I watch speed runs. It doesn't look true when I do it. I don't know. <clears throat> it looks kind of silly. Alright, so before we fight this guy, we're going to go ahead and lower our graphics settings just a little bit. And what that's going to do is maximize our frames per second because the knife damage is dealt based on your frames per second. So we're going to go ahead and go to options, graphics, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Oops. Beep. Alright. And we're going to queue up the fight. It happens as soon as we take this bookcase, put it back. So watch, I'm going to run up to him and I'm just going to start knifing. As you can see, I'm doing massive amounts of damage. He's about to grab me. Yeah, there we go. So we're going to use the knife on him. It's going to break. We're going to re... Uh, we're going to equip our... Okay, our other knife is equipped. And... Fight done. Alright. So yeah, so it's best... It's, it's actually necessary to have two knives during that fight. Because of that reason. Alright, we'll go ahead and bump our graphics back to the normal amount. Somebody's watching me. We're going to grab a few items out of here, mainly just some pistol ammo and some herbs so that we, you know, just have plenty of, of stuff going on. Because the next section we're going to need a little bit of pistol ammo, uh, we're going to bring our shotgun with us, and then we're going to also have um, just a surplus of, of items to put in our box. So we're collecting all these grenades to use them on the final boss of the game, the Super Tyrant, because it's the best way of mitigating him from actually, like, attacking us and we want to keep him from attacking as much as possible because he's pretty tough <clears throat> excuse me so we are going to make our way into the underground parking garage and also the uh, prison area of the police department and from there we're going to meet ada wong she was introduced in this game back in the original resident evil 2 and she is a super spy that mercenary whatever you want to call her that also uh kind of poses as an FBI agent and that's how she gets Leon to assist her in finding the G-Virus because that is her purpose is to bring the G-Virus back to her um her, her oh actually I'm sorry I'm gonna grab the that and shotgun shells and we're good <coughs> excuse me I don't know if I'm allergic to something but my allergies have been going crazy and uh Alright, so we we have to trigger this parking garage, little kiosk thing here, and doing that will allow us to progress. Hey! I'm not done talking to you! Alright, so we're going to kill this zombie down here, because he's going to end up giving us trouble later, and we would prefer not to deal with him. The zombies in the cages, we, we don't have to worry about. They will, uh, they will come back even if you kill them now. All right, so that guy is a an informant slash a news reporter that finds some dirt on the chief of police uh, irons here, and he also knows about like the secret lab that Umbrella has and all this other stuff. But he ends up dying because Umbrella unleashes Mr. X or the tyrant in this game, and that character is. He's he's a he's a force to be reckoned with. Basically, he follows you around the second part of the, the second part of the game for the most part, um, and he's pretty annoying. 
y'all played the original game, you, you probably know who I'm talking about. I don't think he showed up in the A scenario, which is what I'm playing now. I think he only showed up in the B scenario. But he shows up in the A scenario here, and uh, we're going to meet him in a few minutes, actually. All right, so we're done here. We actually don't come back in here. Um, the items that you would pick up here would be another upgrade for his handgun that we're not going to get, and also a herb and a roll of film that we're not going to develop. So you can hear we got puppies. And unfortunately, these are not good doggos. These are bad doggos, so we're going to have to... They're already zombified, so we're going to have to put them out of their misery. And it's better that we deal with them now. So we've got three of them in here. We're going to try... all of our ammo on him. I don't know if actually shooting him in the head makes a difference. Alright, so there's... Oh, yeah. And there's a... There's a yellow uh, gunpowder right there, which we're about to find a regular gunpowder in a little bit, so... Alright, so this guy, we're gonna go ahead and take care of him. He will wake up as soon as we grab the key. And this guy right here, or I'm sorry, this drawer, if I can <laughs> open it up. This is where we get the key. That's... <sighs> I get this key, but... Oh, shoot. I honestly don't know if we need it. Alright, I believe he's dead. I actually don't know if we need it, you know? To be perfectly honest, I don't think we actually need it. Uh, we may. I don't know. I know we need the the clover key. We definitely need that. Because that's the way we, we get through the rest of the, the police station. That's how you get the stars badge. That's how you get the, uh, the electronic part, the second one. Alright, so this is the first electronic part. We're going to open the box. We're going to get it out. Yay! Alright, we are going to grab this gunpowder and we're going to combine it with this to make more shotgun shells. Alright, so now we have a good amount of shotgun shells, which is what we're going to use to get out of here. Uh, we've got a few dogs that we're going to have to fight on the way out, but we have to get power first. And in order to get power, we go to this breaker box, we do three and four. And again, I'm going to put all the combinations of whatever you have to actually in the, in the pinned comment on this video. Right, so we avoid that dog. The next dog we're going to avoid. And then after that, we may or may not have to fight him. Hopefully this dog jumps past us. Okay, good. This dog we're going to have to kill. Yeah, okay. The next dog we're going to have to kill. But that should be it. That should be it. Yeah, the music went away. Alright. So if I heard that zombie, it's because the zombies in that room woke up, but we don't have to deal with them. I, I say that, and watch they'll be in the hallway when we come back. <laughs> they might be. I don't know. Alright, so there's a few zombies in this hallway. But what we're going to do first is grab these items. We're going to go in the save room. There's a few items in here that we can grab, and we're going to go ahead and bank some stuff. So this, uh, this, this, and... You know what? We're going to bank this. Because I almost guarantee we don't need that. Alright, so we got some pistol ammo. We have some yellow chem fluid. Oh, I'm sorry, chem fluid. I'm thinking of Resident Evil 7. Yellow gunpowder. We have a fuse and some magnum ammo. So we're going to go ahead and bust out this, 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 and then we're going to keep that. We're about to use that. We're about to use the crank again, then we can throw the crank away, because we only use it one more time. Alright, so there's guys around this corner. Hopefully we'll get good head explosions. Oh, That's okay. That actually works. That would line up that shot better. Did his head explode? There we go. Alright, so we'll grab a knife back. We're actually going to get another knife here. 
we're going to use the fuse. <coughs> and then there's going to be a dude here, and we're going to try to decapitate. What the? There we go. Alright. So that's done. Alright. This is almost done. About to use that on the shutters up here. Make our way. Make our way to the fire escape, which is where we're going to get a, another key. Let me grab that. We're gonna go ahead and use those planks right now. I'm gonna take a slight detour to grab, or to just use the plank. We will come down here later, and we don't want this window open. So we're going to use that. We're going to throw this away. And that'll be it. We're going to come back down here when we have the clover key and when we have the red jewel in our possession so that we can get the star's badge. Because it's going to be in one of the interrogation rooms. All right, now up here, we're going to go ahead and grab this flashbang. We're going to clear out this room two zombies in here and we need to destroy it because they will cause trouble. There's one more right here. There we go. Alright, so while we're in here, we're going to go ahead and grab shotgun shells and oh, we have room for it. So we're going to grab the large gear. Alright, now we have this full heal. We're going to grab some more herbs, not for another full heal, but basically we're going to create another full heal in a, in a second. All right, so in Leon's scenario, that ladder breaks. Um, there's more handgun ammo there if you need it. We're not going to pick it up. Actually, we'll go ahead and grab the other herb to make a full heal right now. A couple seconds, because <clears throat> there are two green herbs below the staircase. And then we're going to that door right there with the light, and that's going to have a couple more zombies underneath of it. You can hear them trying to get out. Alright, so there's that. I'm going to try to headshot these zombies. Alright, good deal. Make sure to turn this, because you need to for later. That guy's freaking out. So we're going to dump off this, 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 and that should be it. I think that's it. I we'll go ahead and dump that off too. We don't actually need the handgun right now. Alright. Now we're going to make our way to a part that has caused a lot of runs for me to get over. Mainly because I just try to go fast and... I'm not smart about it, so like right now we're sitting at 34 minutes. Not too bad. Um, at least I don't feel like it's too bad. I think we made up a lot of time fighting Burke in one. Alright, so here's Mr. X. Oh, sh I keep forgetting to freaking actuate. Okay, Mr. X will be there as soon as we actuate this lever. As soon as we put out the fire. Alright, so now that the fire is done, Mr. X comes out. This is our first encounter with him. Basically what we're going to do, we're going to get him to follow us into this corner, and then we're going to jump into that corner and run around him. So. Okay, he was faster this time. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Alright, so once he gets about there, we're going to run into this corner, and we're just going to make a wide arc. We are faster than him, thank goodness. We just have to make sure we don't get hung up on corners, we have to make sure we don't stop, because he's not that much slower than us. Alright. So our next step is to use the clover key to get the lever arm, or the uh, handle, for the jack that is in the library. So we're going to make our way down there. This is going to be our third time going into a corridor that has a lot of zombies, and has a liquor now. Alright, so Marvin is a zombie now. We're gonna go ahead and rest in peace. Like, you know, kinda I'll feel bad. Uh, Alright, so Mr. X is following us, you can hear. 
Alright, so we need to walk through this door, because there's a liquor right here. Now, the liquors in this game are blind, but they will follow your noise if you are running or if you are firing. So we're actually going to go through here. We're going to hope that we're faster than Mr. X. We're going to hope we're faster than that zombie. So we're going to grab these two things, and then we are going... Okay, that's fine. Then we're going to leave. We're going to start walking. Alright. Now we're going to run. We should be free and clear. I'm going this way to just avoid. Right. Oh, sheesh. I did not expect all those dudes here. Yeah, this is not good. I want my knife. So we're going to use the heal. That's fine. Right, we're going to go through here. Mr. X is right behind us. All right, there's another liquor here. Oh, right here, actually. I'm really hoping he doesn't aggro me. Oh, there's two liquors. So we're going to go through here. Now we're going to just run. We're going to go upstairs to the library. All right. All in all... Okay. Not the worst. Uh, we're gonna hope we have enough time to actuate this. So we have to pull this over one time. We have to use the lever, and then we have to move the other bookcases twice. We might not have enough time. Mr. X is kind of right on our butt. Go up this ladder. He's in the room with us, which is fine. We're, we're exactly where we want to be. There he is. All right, now there's two zombies up here. We're gonna go ahead and kill one of them because he's right around this corner. We want to go ahead and knock him out. All right, we're gonna grab this herb. All right, so this guy's close. We're gonna go ahead and kill him. Mr. X should be coming out soon, but thankfully he can't follow us into this room. So we're free and clear to go ahead and use the gears to finish the clock tower and to collect the second um, electronic piece. So we immediately take the big gear back because we're going to use it up here and we're going to get a small gear up here. And you can hear Mr. X clomping around outside. So small gear, big gear. And the only other thing we're going to get in this area, other than the electronic piece, is a large gunpowder that's in the back room. And we'll combine that with one of those white, or I'm sorry, yellow gunpowders that we picked up earlier. So we're going to use the small gear right here. It's going to trigger a cutscene. He's going to write a report about that one. I don't have one. to write a report on this. Leon, there's nobody to write a report to, bud. Everybody's dead. <laughs> Alright. So basically, we keep one heal just in case stuff like that happens. Zombie grabs you from the back, or whatever. Alright. As you can hear, Mr. X is outside. Thankfully, up here, he normally despawns, or he at least walks away. So we're gonna we're gonna creep the door open. We're gonna see where he's at. All right, that's good. Plenty of time to run. So this is why you kill those two zombies in the room we're about to get to, because you don't want to deal with them in this capacity. I'm gonna bust open this door. They're already dead. I'm gonna grab this blue herb, combine it with that. We're just going to haul booty out of here, because we are done. So since he is following us, I'm going to go ahead and throw him off our scent. I'm going to go through here, through here. 
This is kind of a long way, but it's okay. We're going to make a pit stop and pick up, because we want to get the Stars Badge right now. This is the best time to get it, as far as I'm concerned. So we're going to put the large gunpowder up. We're going to put the grenade up. We're going to put, actually we're going to keep that. I'm going to grab the red jewel and the other electronic part since we're about to do that section. And then we're going to grab two flashbangs. Uh, take, I know, put back one and we're going to store this. Actually, do we have a red herb? Just no. We're going to store this and we're going to grab a full heal. All right, this should be everything we need to get to the next section. This may not be a good idea. This is not a good idea. Too many, too many enemies. That's okay. He is, where is he? Did we throw him off already? Tell if he's above us. I think he's above us. We are going the absolute wrong way. Yeah, this is not where we need to go. <laughs> I get so mixed up in this section. Only this section I get mixed up in, though. Because we want to go... Uh, we're going to cross our fingers. We actually don't deal with him. So, I've read... Oh, I haven't read, I'm sorry. I've, I've heard that, like, if you fire your gun, that alerts him to your presence, which I think is awesome. This, this should be the last time that we use the clover key. Yeah, okay, good. We're gonna go in here, we're gonna grab this. We're gonna combine these two. We're gonna get a star's key. All right, so, and then we're gonna grab the gunpowder off this guy, and then we're gonna grab the gunpowder that's in this right here and create some more shotgun shells. And we're gonna combine those. All right, now we're sitting pretty on inventory space. And I'm gonna cross my finger. Oh! That's garbage. That scared me. Alright, well, it's okay. If he busts in this door, we'll just dodge around him here. Actually, we can go ahead and. There's nothing in here except for ink ribbon, some bullets, so we'll just let him go away. This, this is where a liquor would come out and find you, but I guess he can't come in here. Oh, we're gonna run. That's okay. Alright, not the worst. Wasted a little bit of time, sure. Uh, but it's okay, we'll get out of here. We actually want to use the fire escape out here to go downstairs to get to the actual... Uh, correct area that we're supposed to go to, so. How is he here? What a jackass. That's okay. We'll just go here. We'll just have him come meet us outside. Catch me outside. This is wasting a good amount of time. We want to be in the sewers in like 10 minutes. All right, so he's on his way out here and we're just gonna evade him like we did before. Put ourselves in this corner. Come on. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, so do the same thing. We're just playing this dosido -do game. This time we're going to go out the fire exit. 
So we're going to collect the Magnum and all the Magnum upgrades when we come back. There's going to be another instance that we can actually deal with the uh, police department without Mr. X. And that's what we're going to do. Back through here, we're gonna deal with some dogs. We're gonna use a shoddy to deal with the dogs. All right, good, no zombos in this area. All right, so doggo alert. That was bad. All right, two more dogs. How did that not hit me? Or how did they not hit him? Wow, I'm just terrible. One more dog. Come on. There we go. All in all, not terrible. I didn't get hurt, but... <clears throat> right, we're going to queue up our flashbangs, because we're going to use those to get out of the... out of the prison. We're about to get to the first aid spray as well, so we'll have two full heals. That's why I'm not healing right now. Alright, so we're gonna use the first aid, or I'm sorry, we're gonna use electronic parts. Now this, you basically want to make sure that it is wrapped exactly the way that it needs to be. Um, so that has to go that way, that has to go that way, that has to go that way, and there we go. There's only one way for it to actually work, and right, so there's first aid behind the toilet. You want to make sure you grab that. You want to make sure that after you go through the cutscene, you actually pick up the card, because uh, I did not one time, and I had to run back here, and I was so confused. zombies. That's why I take two, because I am not bold enough to use a uh, just a flashbang. Just one. Alright. I'm actually going to stay in caution during this period. Actually, there's a, there's a green herb right here, so we're going to use that green herb. Uh, we have to trigger Ada to uh, tell us that it's okay to go through the gun store anyway. So we're going to try to speed her up by running. Because I believe if we get a certain amount of distance of, away from her, she'll start running after us. I think she starts running. Oh, there she goes. Okay. Is that the intel you needed? Unfortunately, no. Come she knows how to throw a voice really, really well. well. What exactly are you looking for? More info on the people responsible for this mess. So. She's gonna tell us Rhodes out, which, Rhodes out. obviously. Going through that gun shop looks like the only way. Alright, there's a grenade, there is a shotgun upgrade, and there is um, some pistol ammo in this area. What are we sitting at? 49 minutes? Yeah, we're running a little slow. Obviously, Mr. X gave me a few uh, minutes worth of trouble. So, not the best situation. Alright, we're gonna equip the stock on the, I'm sorry, the barrel on the shotgun. I'm gonna grab that, and we're gonna grab the pistol ammo, because we're about to pick up five. Alright, that's a pretty good cutscene, but we're skipping it. We're skipping all cutscenes. Heard of the Umbrella Corporation? The uh, shotgun upgrade also gives us an additional four rounds of, of ammo because the barrel is an extended mag. That explains the horrible things I've seen. The good thing about it is you have a closer grouping of shots, so it's easier to headshot. And that's why I'm looking for Or I'm sorry, you know, like critical headshot. And it's also um, it also increases the magazine capacity. Gee, thanks. Can't imagine a real scientist being down here. So we're going to come across an item box, and that's where I'm going to grab the pistol. And we're going to dump come some on. stuff off. Because we're about to have Ada's 
How could journey. they have a facility without the authorities knowing? We're actually getting pretty close to the end of the section. Jeez. That an earthquake? Uh, we have one part coming up with this alligator. What the hell? And that's about it. So we're gonna dump this, dump this, dump this, dump that, and grab the handgun. Sounds good. It. There's an ink ribbon right here if you need it. We do not need it. We only need three ink ribbons for the entire game because we're trying to get S plus. Again? And I believe we have three, if not each. Most of the no chance. typewriters you come across have ink ribbons next to them, so it's not like they're in short uh. supply. All right, so to fight this guy, you actually just run. We're gonna stay on the left side of the screen after one chomp. We're gonna go to the right side. Holy shit! He's gonna chomp twice, and then we're gonna immediately go to the left. So as soon as he chomps the second time, go to the left. As he chomps to the right, and then we're gonna go in the middle. Because uh, at this point, at this point, he can't hurt you. So we have the handgun queued up. Shoot that, he dies. We're gonna grab a grenade. So. There is a Mr. Raccoon here, if you didn't get you it earlier. You overgrown son of a bitch. Um, this is one of the Leon exclusives. We're about to have another Leon exclusive when we play as Ada. So we have a super spy section when we're Ada. Leon, up here. There's a, there's a raccoon what near the, the incinerator that you get trapped in. Just I'll show y'all where that here. is. All right, so we have to wait for her during all this. We can scoot ahead of her right here, but we you actually said the can't. the virus turned people into monsters, not reptiles. Fair point. We can't actuate the elevator until um, she's in here. So we're gonna we're gonna stare at Leon's beautiful eyes. <laughs> He's all dirty. He's already wounded because I just picked the wounded costume. Come on, girl. You're slow. So let me get this straight. Umbrella sells monsters like that to who? You can't actually aim at her. Our military? Somebody else's? They don't sell the monsters. They sell the viruses that make them. And Annette is who makes the viruses. Scary as that alligator was, Annette is far more dangerous. Yeah, she's about to miss Leona, that's for sure. Alright, so we bust through this. We bust through here. And we bust through here. Cinem scene. Oh no, Leon's hurt. Oh no. All of a sudden, can Ada can't do anything with her trench coat on. <laughs> All right, so you click on that. Start the cinema scene. Go through here. You uh, do it's that. Secret weapon time. All right, so this this secret weapon, super whatever, used to basically hack electronic devices. And as you can see, she's speeding up the fan so that it breaks. The cool thing about it is you can use this weapon while moving, and it's going to be really important when we try to avoid the Mr. X scenario. So as you can see, I'm doing that. All right. So before we drop down here, I'm going to actuate a, I guess a power substation. We have to change the power so that this zombie does not mess with us when we come through this door. All right, so, and we don't have to deal with that zombie again. We have some pistol ammo here, just in case. We shouldn't need it, but it's always nice to just grab it. It doesn't take any time, because we're going to kneecap these zombies. There's going to be three of them, I believe, we should kneecap. This is one. All right, so that was good. Actually, that may not be good. I actually haven't had that happen. <laughs> There's going to be a second one. All right, so here is where we actuate the power. That's for the lift. And we're going to grab this flashbang. You don't actually share any items between Leon and Ada, so that pistol ammo doesn't make sense. All right, so we stunned him. All right, so since we didn't have two zombies there, uh, this is kind of bothering me. This has not happened. Oh, wow. Okay, that totally works with me. 
Alright, and then we're gonna shoot this guy in the kneecap. There we go. And that's the hardest part of Ada. Now we're gonna go back to her secret weapon, because we're going to have to use that pretty quickly in order to stay away from the tyrant. Alright, so we come up here, we're gonna start aiming over this way. Uh, there we go. Actually, this. We're gonna open this door, and then we're gonna immediately look in the upper left, so we can change that. And then we're gonna start hacking this uh, fan as soon as we can, as we're walking towards it. As soon as the fan blows up, you wanna jump through. Because uh, Mr. X is hot on our tails. Alright, so now, oh, I guess there is an ink ribbon over there. I never actually saved there. And I guess you can die at this part. But if you're playing it on hardcore, you should know how to do this. Right, so we have to actuate this. It's going to open the door to the incinerator. And, and we have to go in and grab a wristband ID badge that we're going to use for the remainder of the game. So Ada's part is actually a little bit longer than Sherry's part when you're playing as Claire. Alright, so here's the other raccoon statue right there. Alright, so we're gonna grab this Q cutscene. Bravo. Alright, so basically while these chicks are squabbling, now. we are going to have Still to actuate this piece first, and then this, the and then we actuate here, here, then here, and then we finally actuate this one, and, you won't die and this alone. final lock, and then the door will blow open. So, as soon as the timer beeps, we can start our process. We have plenty of time to do this, so they give you the timer because if you don't know where everything is, it might be a little like disheartening to like, oh, what do I do? Like I'm scared. There's a timer. I'm about to burn up, but um, you have plenty of time. Right. She's doing. And that is the end of all of the threat for Ada's part of the campaign. We basically is go through this door, we take a left, we go through this door, and then it gets to a cutscene. And at that cutscene is where Ada gets hurt and um, basically incapacitated. Leon has to come find her. So now it's time for Leon. He's oh no, Ada's jacket apparently healed me. Ada, where are you? All right, so. We should have everything we need. Um, just in case, I'm gonna put the grenade up. I'm going to grab uh, the shotgun shells, and that should be good enough. I think that's everything that we need. Come on, come on, get off the wall. <laughs> I say this, and then I'm probably gonna screw things up. There's some handgun ammo right here, which is good. So we'll go ahead and Smell. Right, there's two shotgun shells down here. We're not worried about that. We will end up getting those later because we're going to come back in this area. Uh, but there are some enemies that we want to fight. There's four guys that we're going to kill here. This guy is one, this guy is two, and then three, and four. We are going to come back to this area, because that's going to be our ticket to get back to the police department, but for now, we're just taking care of those guys. So here is a knife, we're going to actually queue that one up just in case we have to use it. And we're gonna jump down here. Get some uh, duty water in the mouth. Ugh, shit. Now, there's an enemy that we're gonna try to avoid fighting. Really hoping we don't fight him. We're gonna grab this gunpowder. We're gonna make a wide arc around. And hope that we don't actually fight this dude. Ugh. He grabbed us, but I think we're on the right side of him. Yeah. So, yeah, we're good. I'm gonna go up here. Totally fine. That's exactly what we wanted, because we don't come back this way. 
So, bust through here. Cable car. That's why we picked up that knife, and that's why we equipped that knife, because we're leaving that in the dude. We don't care. But you're not taking my infinite combat knife, because we need that for the next boss. Alright, so we're going to go through here. We're almost done with this section. There's a couple things that we pick up in here. Two shotgun shells, or however many that is. And then this locker she go? has some magnum ammo. And the locker is S Z F. Alright, grab the magnum ammo. And we're going to drop down here. And this is where we're going to save. So, skip this cutscene. I'm coming, Ada. Um, there's a map right here. We don't need it. All right, we're gonna grab this save ribbon. We're gonna go ahead and dump our excess items here. Um, shotgun shells, or I'm sorry, the pistol, wait, what, uh, magnum ammo, that. So we're gonna dump one of these. And we're gonna pick up, actually we're gonna dump the pistol ammo because we're gonna use basically a shotgun the entire time. All right, and we'll go ahead and make more shotgun shells because we're gonna want that. And we'll go ahead and make a little more shotgun shells because we're going to need those and that's it so we're going to dump this too because we're about to make another full first aid heal and I believe that is all the stuff that we need to do right now all right we're gonna save it this is gonna be the second time that I save um, your mileage may vary I'm actually gonna save it over this file and then I'm gonna explain why I'm saving here all right so now that we saved we are sitting at an hour and two minutes not too bad. Basically, this is a half point in the game. So if we were to continue this pace, which hopefully we can make up a little bit of time, the sewers are hit or miss whether or not they're great. I feel like you can either run through them super quickly or you might get hung up. And it's all because of those guys, that dude that grabbed us. Um, basically, those guys have a, a, a giant magnetic grab. And if you don't have a defensive item, then they're going to spit on you and they're going to poison you and they're going to hurt you. And basically, when you're poisoned, you move entirely too slow. So that being said, um, you want defensive items. You want defensive items that you're fine with getting rid of, like that uh, that messed up knife. That's fine. Get rid of that sucker. Grab another one. It's easy. You get plenty, right? Um, so in this section, the sewers basically take about 16 minutes, 18 minutes, 20 minutes, something like that, because you want to be in the lab at least by the hour and a half mark. You want to give yourself a solid hour in the lab. That's just in case, because not only are we giving ourselves extra time here, because we want to go pick up the Magnum, we want to pick up the Magnum upgrades, and we're able to do all of that with the Stars Badge and with the uh, with one of the things that we pick up um, here, which is a roll of film. Now, that being said, I save here because the sewers can be pretty finicky, and if you don't route things correctly and if you don't actually dodge the enemies correctly, you, you can be in a lot of pain. And so we're going to grab the Magnum before we actually go to the crazy part of the sewers because I want to make sure that that Magnum is available to us so that we can destroy the little, they call them uh, G-adults, but they're basically like infected G-virus people that have you know mutated into that thing. So, so that's going to be that. So we're going to go ahead and end this episode here. Uh, again, I'm going to drop all the codes that I used for the lockers and for like the breaker box and all that kind of stuff in a pinned comment, just so it's easy access for people that are following along. Uh, let me know what you think. Uh, go ahead and drop a comment. Um, please like the video if you've enjoyed this. If you're not subscribed, I'd really appreciate if you subscribed. It does help me out a lot. And um, yeah, let me know what you think about this. We're going to finish this game. We're going to hopefully get S+. Plus. That's the whole purpose of saving. So that just in case we do terrible in this next section, we can come back right here. So we're going to go ahead and end it here. Uh, thanks, everybody, for joining me, and we'll see you in the next one.